going. Um, so yeah, I am back. I'm going to play some more Dark Souls uh, 2 right now. Um, one thing I'm going to mention, which most people don't care about, at least, uh, well, I shouldn't say most people don't care about it. A good portion of people care about it. Unfortunately, we've all been ignored. Uh, net neutrality is not quite dead yet, but it's it's on its way out. The vote was 3-2, to two, and uh, yeah, we're losing it. Uh, get used to 56k uh, speeds, or even less... Now, uh, these huge-ass companies can ban any website they don't like, basically. They can... I mean, yeah, you can always create another site, but not everyone is going to be able to do that over and over again. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that because even though nobody watches me, um, like, I would say... 90% of the time uh, it's going to kind of suck to lose that because I mean uh, Twitch is really popu popular so you don't think the big internet companies are going to hit Twitch no Twitch is definitely getting hit as is YouTube anyways let's get to uh, some souls not talk about something so fucking depressing Wow. So, as I found out yesterday, as I found out yesterday, these guys here, they don't attack you. Now, there's two ways they will attack you. Um, if you attack them, of course, then they then they will all attack you, or if you attack who they're guarding, which is the ancient dragon. Now you need to go to the ancient dragon so you can uh, get an item. I believe it's called the Ashen Heart. It's so you can go into the memories of the. Uh, the memories of the giants. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, because... Because uh, the more uh, giants that you kill... What? How did I not hit you? God, he has, like... Unlimited stamina. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so... Anyways... It, the more memories of the giants you get, the easier it is to kill King Vendrick later. I mean, you can kill him now. It's just going to take an extremely long time. Now, right now, the only people who attack you are these big guys. And there's a guy later who attacks you. I don't know why, but this door is always closed. So I'm not going to attack um, the ancient dragon right now. I'm going to wait till later. There's no point right now because I'd rather get through all the uh, giant stuff. The giant stuff. Now this guy up here with the two swords that look like two. Um, they look like two uh, fire swords from the first uh, game. I don't know who this guy is, but he attacks me. Now, the last two times I've actually... Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. I gotta watch myself. The last two times I have I came here, I accidentally killed those guys, which means they will attack you no matter what. 
whether you kill the ancient dragon or not. But as long as you don't hit them, they don't give a fuck. But if you hit them, you, there's like eight guys right here. They will barrel roll your ass. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Jesus Christ. I still get hit by that fucking hell. Wonder how f oh, he doesn't go much farther than that. Mm. Now, luckily, this thing's big enough that it staggers, but you still got to be careful. It's not, it doesn't stagger every fucking time, just sometimes. Oh, great. Finally got this fuck. Now, unfortunately, this guy comes back, but... He's not a big deal right now. He's a bigger deal when all these fucks attack you. Yep, yeah, right now they don't do anything because you're not attacking the dragon. So... You can go right over and talk to the dragon without any issue. But as soon as you attack him, he gets pissed. And he is hard motherfucking boss. He's one of the hardest bosses ever because he has a fuck ton of life. So. And this is how he talks. It's fucking awesome. So he gives you the Ashen Mist Tart, which allows you to go talk to those giants. Or or go into their memories, basically. Alright. Now, I mean, he doesn't... There is a point to killing him. Um, because he also drops, uh, he, uh, by killing him, he also makes it so that you can, uh, oh, you can't drop down here, can you? No. Pointless ahead, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to lock on to this guy, you just want to be wary of where he's going, so. Alright, so... All right, so we did that. I'll be back to kill him later. I'm not going to kill him now because um, I, I'm saving him for last because he is a tough motherfucking boss. So, But I have killed him before. I've killed him twice, I believe. Also, it sucks once you fight him because every time you die, you have to fight through all these assholes. Which, that is no bueno. Right now, they don't give a shit. Alright, now that we have 
uh, the Ashen Mist Heart, we can enter the memories of the giants. Which, um, let's see, where is that? Soul of a pose possessed by a giant. Where's the Ashen Mist Heart at? Oh, it's a key, that's right. What does it look like? I think this is it. The magic of the ancient dragon allows ones to delve within the memories of the withered. Yep. So you can go into the memories of the dead, basically. Um, so actually, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go... We're going to go back to one of the DLCs. The second DLC. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, here. Uh, we're going to go back to this DLC. Because now we can enter the, uh, the memory of this guy. Which is basically just a boss fight. You can get a cool sword. Um, from him. Alright, and now you can enter his... It's too bad there's no one around to summon. Would be nice. All right, and I have entered his memory for whatever that's worth. Memory of the old king. Now there are there are two helpers you can summon which makes this fight a hell of a lot fucking easier. And thankfully they're two good NPCs. Um I like how you fade in and it starts as black and white and goes to color. Okay. Oh yeah. There's more of these fools. They have full life, but with two guys helping you, they drop pretty fucking quick. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Well, fuck me in the anus, eh? Three effigies. Nice. I'll take three. So there is a boss at the end of this, but you don't see him right away. Those frogs are definitely new. Wow, that took a while. Actually, I should be using these. Oh, alone night levings. Jesus. Bye-bye. That was fun.
Okay, there's... Okay, get out of my way, asshole. Oh, wait, no, those frogs were here before, that's right. Now, they have a chance to drop something. I don't remember what that something is. I don't think they come back after you kill them. Maybe. I I don't know. Yeah, you kind of have to drop down. There's nowhere else to go. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Who shot at me? Someone. Oh, someone has a bow. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Hair powder is always good. Bye bye. Okay, there's all these pathways. What you drop? Drop gauntlets. Uh, so we've before. Uh, I wish I could get up there to kill that fucking frog. Okay, so I mean, you don't get to fight. I forgot you don't get to fight the boss right away here. Kind of a lot of different things going on. Ooh, Twin Blade plus seven, that's cool. That's where I came from. Yeah, this leads back up here. Um, I 
Are these guys coming? All right, so down here is actually the boss, but we're not done killing fools. Um, there's more secrets here. I know there is. Actually, Oh yeah, you fall down the hole. You have no choice. God damn it. Um, there is a way back up, I think. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Wish I could remember this area better. Oh, maybe this leads to the back. It does. Kills that guy. <sighs> okay, so we might as well go fight the boss. I'm gonna fix my shit first wait is it all fixed okay well close enough then we'll do a sacred oath which I need to swap this spell out it's not really that great so I don't know if this is the boss I think it is yep it's the boss sir alone so basically the master of all those uh, knights. And he's pretty hardcore. The thing that really sucks about this boss is he is fast. He, in my opinion, he is like the test... Uh, the test case for um, other uh, Souls games, like Dark Souls Three and Bloodborne, although they were all they were already working on Bloodborne when they made. By the time they came out with this DLC, I think Bloodborne had already come out, but that doesn't mean they weren't working on this before. Whoa. Yeah, he hits, he hits fucking hard. But the advantage is when he does his attack, you can, you can definitely have enough time to move out of the way, despite how fucking fast he is. Ah, he's coming after me. He also has way more life. Oh, wow. So he has a limit. I'm not doing very good. I'm getting my ass kicked. Well, 
Luckily, I have enough stamina. I don't fucking lose it all. Ugh. Luckily, he doesn't have a... He doesn't really have a power-up mode, but... He's plenty fucking difficult. I'll give him that. Oh, I guess he has that attack, but that's not really a power attack. On my own. Oh. He's gonna fuck me up now. Okay. God damn. His attacks are something fierce. And it's hard to dodge. Yeah, they built the AI pretty correctly. Like, slightly beyond what you think you could, uh, you should roll away from. Yeah, see, he does have a limit. There's, yeah, when he does his main attack, he can hit you all the way across the room. Oh, he got me. He might be dead now. Oh, not quite. But he, like, takes your soul, and then he can hit harder. He doesn't have this forever, but... Oh, uh, yeah, that's how you can die, though. Ah, he got me. I think he loses it after a little while, though. Hey, what's up, Ninja? How's it going, man? Just, uh... Just, uh... Doing stuff, so... I'm glad I'm back, man. Who knows for how long... Ever since uh, net neutrality was killed, but um, time will tell on that. And I know you're in Sweden, but if you don't think it's coming to you, well, it came to us, so. Um, so what you been up to, man? All right. I missed your message, by the way, if you want to repost it. Okay, I'm going to fix my shit. Okay, I think my roommate's back. All right. Okay. So I'm going to repair right now. I'll be around if you make it back. <laughs> 